So today I'm going to work um, on the snowflakes coming down from the clouds. I've continued past the area of the cloud and I've changed to a green couching stitch. I think it looks rather lovely on um, a slightly paler blue here and filled in lots of areas of this cloud. As you know, I'm working three stockings and I've just popped the end of when I was working this green um, in amongst the clouds because when you look at clouds, they really reflect the countryside around them and there is lots of different purpley colours. So I was aiming for using about four colours with little bits of accents in, but you can have yellow or red or anything you like. It's a reflective sort of thing. So for the actual uh, snowflakes coming down from the um, from the cloud or for rain, you could use grey, um, but you could use the cream or white or any colour you have. So I'm going to use this creamy white and um, I think it's rather gorgeous. So I've folded it over, so 30 inches folded over to make a one long thread with the loop at the end. So I'm just going to take my needle down and I'm going to actually use this casting on area here um, just to add another little detail in the cloud. So you can, you know, if you thought, thought it was too blocky, you could just go back in and add more, more colours. So this is usually hidden, but I don't mind because this is a very freestyle cloud. So you can see that just even that casting on stitch uh, blends with the rest and I have another one here. So now I'm going to come down the uh, line, my couching line, which as you know, dissects these squares. So just coming up with a very straight needle and pulling it from behind. Working hand to hand is always much easier. Now in a really nice free space here, I'm going to work a much larger stitch and I'm going to come up higher up in the square shape so not down here like I have been before, but higher up and go much further down. And then I'm going to do the same across from side to side, right the way across. So about two thirds to three quarters of the way across that area. So I've now got the blue cross underneath and a white cross over the top. And then I'm coming up between the blue and the cream here and coming down with another cross stitch over the top of those. And I think that looks like a snowflake. Now, of course, these can be all different shapes and uh, it's rather nice to have a couching stitch in between. You could do smaller ones, you could do larger ones. I'm going to make this one next one as large as I can make it. And it's going to have a a rather tall, narrow shape. So I'm working my stitch across the shape with a much shorter stitch. And then this one is coming up in the same sort of place as the last one, but the next bit, the next cross is coming up quite tall. So every snowflake will be different. And if you have a child doing this, they'll just think this is a thrilling but I do think that this is a rather nice way to decorate it. And then we'll add the same sort of snowflakes on the um, unicorn's bottom or uh, on some leaves. And I'm just going to go up here and work another one. I'm just going to get away from the mane slightly. You'll see I've worked over the whole area of the mane because that actually is going to have just a uh, running stem stitch or even loose turkey work over the top of it and as you know you can work through these stitches it's not like metal thread or some of the firmer cotton threads where you're restricted you can always stitch through cruel work and wool now you can see this line is slightly out of line there I'm just going to shift that with my needle just so that it covers my pencil line and just take that down. And I'm going to work probably seven or eight snowflakes in this area, but at very random places. So just try not to be too organized about it. Last one here. 
on this line before I run out of thread. And when I cast off, I'm just going to cast off on the surface of the cloud. I'm running out of thread rather drastically here, Richard. And I'm just going to use this same area just to put in a couple of stitches. Like that, come out the top and we'll snip that off later. <laughs> 